Hello, Buzzercars. My name is HotzoC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft, where last time uh, we checked out our cobblestone supply for our storage system, but we have another line, a green line, going out to our smelter setup, which we want to uh, check out today. And the way this works, um, uh, this machine turns off as soon as we have two filled shulkers in here. So we have enough black lock to fulfill demand. And currently over there, we don't have that. Here we have the two outputs for stone. And over there, we would have smooth stone. And basically, we need two filled shulker boxes in here for these comparators to turn on. And then basically, if one is moved over, this goes off, sends a signal out there. Um, demanding more cobble to be smelted to, to fill up the, the supply. And I'm not sure if that yellow block there is in the right position, but we will see if this actually works by basically uh, triggering this line or that line yeah, probably this line here, um, so that we get hopefully cobblestone supplied here, uh, then smelt that up and end up with more shulker boxes in here. So let me uh, get a button of some kind and then we will test this out button place so let's press it and see what happens here were signals going back and forth and hopefully um, we shall see a shulker box coming in yes that looks good so that should mean we are smelting stone. And if that's indeed the case, then we have to uh, repeat that process uh, a few times uh, until we have um, we have uh, the backlog down there filled. And as you can see up here, the loading of the minecart is not the, the fastest. So uh, what we can actually do now is let's just request another box. And that then also should turn on the, uh, the cobblestone generator uh, because uh, we emptied out the uh, two backlogged shulker boxes, so they need to be refilled. By the looks of it, we have succeeded in filling this hopper with enough shulker boxes full of stone so that we get out a signal strength strong enough to depower this torch and that means the block over there is in the down position and the way this works is um, two shulker boxes give out a signal strength of three and that turns that torch off so if we consume one shulker box out of here so it drops down to one or we would have to consume two currently. This torch would turn on 
we get a signal passed through there from there to there but the block is also lifted up and then when the next shulker box comes in here that would then turn off the torch but that also generates a signal but as the block is in the up position the signal does not go through but the piston is still powered and the block is retracted. So now to the more complicated test uh, where we want to test the whole thing with smooth stone. It's a bit co more complicated because uh, requesting smooth stone would mean uh, we pull out one shulker box of here, smelt that up, and that should result in a shulker box of smooth stone. But then as soon as we drop below the two shulker boxes here on this side, we should also request another uh, shulker box of cobblestone from there to also smelt. So let's try that. Yes, that went uh, out and up as far as I have seen. So let's see if we have it in here. Uh, we still have cobble back log. Um, but I would assume that shulk box up here. That's cobble. Where did our stone box go? Ooh, quite a few of empty shulker boxes. So we have to deal with that as well. Ah, here is our stone box. Still in the waiting position. And as soon as that one empties out, we should then have the stone box delivered to there. And there is the stone box. So I guess it will take quite a while uh, until uh, we have the backlog of smooth stone uh, sorted out. But that should not be a big problem. It's just a bit of time waiting around here and once we run out of uh, normal stone down there um, then checking that the cobble is actually requested properly. All right uh, hopefully that works out just as well as uh, the stone did and then we can turn our attention uh, on actually doing some more redstone wiring. The smelting of the smooth stone went pretty good. We are not entirely done there uh, because I noticed a few issues with the system up here. Everything down there works nicely. But we do have a bit of uh, a loss at this point here, because if this one rolls up there and we have one of these minecarts rolling under here, they actually suck out the material um, from, from there and that's, that's not good. So what we should do here is uh, lift this up a bit uh, so that we are one block higher um, 
and then we can also have the, the return station here one block higher. And other thing is here, uh, if the smelted goods are unloaded, they sometimes land uh, on there where we have the have the scaffolding and items landing there they go nowhere so i think what we should do is basically move the scaffolding one block back and have the water source there so it uh, moves moves around so that's that and the third issue uh, is here with the loading station. Uh, one thing is um, we having having a chest here takes a long time to load if we have smelted everything because uh, the system only goes off when the chest is full. So probably a hopper minecart, uh, which only has five slots, would be better because uh, the smelting can only take one stack out of it. So uh, with, with the thing going back and forth, that would just insert two stacks out of, of the whole thing. And another issue, which is a bigger problem, is that if we have mixed input, we could end up with uh, 26 full stacks of one item and then a partial stack of something else, which is not in this hopper here. So that stack will never get a full stack. And that means uh, the release mechanism is, is never, never triggered. Uh, so I have seen uh, a different design here for the, for the loading. Uh, however, uh, we need to move it down a bit and we need to go up there a bit. So I think we will shift the thing over a bit so we can basically use this hopper uh, still as an input. So I will tackle these things and then we will have a look uh, how it turned out because that's probably a better illustration than uh, me talking you through it. All the changes are made and as you can see we have a hopper minecart here. Unfortunately with uh, this loading system we cannot really use the benefit of the hopper minecart that would suck out items faster because the way this works is we only have we put one item in the chest but as the items are sucked out by the hopper minecart, uh, we never get a signal out here unless we have an item in here and we only have an item in there is if there is no, um, no room left to put in there. So that will then uh, trigger the rail, power the rail, but also lock this hopper. And here we go one block higher so we can avoid the problem of items being sucked out by the hopper minecart down below. And then here on this side, I uh, did not work with uh, having the water stream starting there because we have a rail there and that basically blocks the thing. But we can use a bit of powdered snow here 
And the cool thing about Powdered Snow is that it basically negates the momentum of the items. So the items then uh, slow down and uh, drop down nicely as we have just seen and then are filtered out here by this system. As you saw, that worked nicely and uh, I think we have to uh, gather two more shulker boxes of uh, smooth stone uh, until we are finished here with the backlog and then next time we can hopefully turn our attention uh, towards the over there um, the bone meal lines and the request for bone meal uh, something that we pushed off since several episodes but I think we will finally get around to that so hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, join also next time when we tackle the redstone for the bone meal. Until then, goodbye.